Hello everybody, today we're doing Genji, and Genji is a character I have a little bit of knowledge with, I don't play him that often, but mm, he's a medium use character, if not lightly, but I've played him more than like Ana, so. Uh, his default is actually a pretty solid one, it's one of the few ones that actually I don't hate. Uh, it's got a lot of white, a lot of neon green, which actually complements the white better than like a darker green would. And it's pretty solid. He, he looks really nice. Better than, you know, a lot of other defaults. His reskins, though, are just terrible. <laughs> Starting with Malachite. Malachite, I don't know what this is supposed to be. But this is just... Ugh, lime green is not a good color in this game. Actually, it looks more like puke green. I don't get what they were going for here. I mean, it, it's different and it kind of fits the cyborg theme but i don't know the way his suit reacts to different colors i feel like it's supposed to be like him being on it like sick or something i don't know next up we have cinnabar and it pairs well with the green but i don't know just seeing genji in this orange is just not a not a good thing i'm not a big fan of it it's not the worst but it, it could be it could be better Ocher, or Ocher, Orchard? I don't know. Uh, this yellow daisy looking one is pretty alright, it looks like a mustard color, it's better than the last two, but I really... Actually, I'd say it's pretty solid, I'd say the, the last two reskins are pretty solid, I, I like that, that's pretty alright. Uh, yellow goes for the green, it complements the grain pretty well, it's, it's a good, good skin. Azurite is his best rare, and... I don't know, it's it's just a different kind of nice. It, it, it complements the white on his knees, the chest plate, the helmet, it goes with the green. It doesn't clash at all, and that that's what I think a good reskin should do. It just kind of looks nice and better than the other three. So he wins by default. By the way, I love how when you move him, uh, his fucking thing just clips right through the scabbard. I love it. As always, starting from the worst and going to the best, we somehow have a reskin. It's called Chrome, but it's the exact same colorization. But like his arms just have Chrome, and his thighs have Chrome plating now, which I get was the point. But you could have done a lot differently with this. It'd been fine. Like just something, anything else would have been good. Like had the rest of the skin been like a black or a. Uh, gray or like a darker gray just something i will say they changed the little headdress thing and the sword and um knife scabbard so that kind of helps but it's just it, it's to one note it's very boring nihon or non non i don't know n-h-o-n non is better than chrome but not by much it kind of goes with what i was saying Having it be more of a uniform color with different accents works. I like it, but I don't know, it's just still very uh, bland. And I know it's supposed to be like the Japanese flag, you know, with the, the white, with the red dot, and I understand that. You know, it's kind of like what I said with Bridget's and Divas. I'm aware of what it's supposed to be, but if you didn't tell me this was a celebrating my heritage skin, I wouldn't notice. I will see the uh, red eye glow is much, much better. It's very cool. I like that. Green's good, but the red's is really cool. Next up, we have Bedone. I can't pronounce half these names. I'm sorry, but you know, I'm going to go with Bedone. And this is supposed to be for like, you know, the desert and oh my God, in this skin, his elbow clips through the fucking knife. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. The skin is so weird, but um, yeah, so it's supposed to be for um, the Temple of Anubis, it's supposed to fit in there, and it fits, it's just a little awkward. Like, I feel like this would have been Farah's skin, or even Ana's, but for some reason, we it's with Genji. I mean, it's nice, it's just, I like better skins, this is not one of them. However, Nomad, it's reskin, is very well done. It's gold and light brown with a couple of accents on the top that don't detract from the bottom. This is more in line with what I think of when I think of like an Arabian look or a desert theme because it just kind of fits the the uh, aesthetic better. The brown blends in with the desert a lot better. And you know, he's a ninja. He kind of wants to blend into the desert. It's 
kind of the point. Next up we have Oni. Give you one guess as to why I don't like this skin. Well, I'll give it this. It's very interesting. This seems like a very unique skin. I just... <sighs> the mask just ruins it for me. I hate the mask. Like, if this were a Halloween skin, I'd get it. But, like, I <sighs> just... His normal faceplate, or even the one for, from Nomad, would have worked. I just something. This is just terrifying, and I don't know why. Why are you pointy? Why are you the demon? This looks like it belongs more in um, Spider-Man for the PS4 than it does Overwatch. Like this should be like its own ninja version of the the Devil's Breath gang. Why didn't they have that? That would have been cool. This one is. Bado? Ba Bado? B a i h u? Bado? I don't know. Bio? Bio? I don't know. This one is kind of in line with, the, I think, the lunar year. Very heavy focus on the night aesthetic, which, you know, Chinese culture was very big on the nights. And it was a, it's a pretty good one. Its face isn't that bad, its aesthetic is clear, it's just kind of mediocre. It's the generic Genji skin. I don't see it quite a lot in gameplay, I don't see it quite a lot anywhere it's just kind of there but it's, it's good I, I, i'd wear it this one's called kindoku and for some reason this one just makes me giggle it's kind of funny like he's i think he's supposed to be a hockey or like a hockey goalie or a soccer goalie or some i don't know the, or he's playing baseball i don't know what he's supposed to be like this seems very confused on what it's supposed to be but i love it because you know he's the guy he's the kid that comes out on the field with like eight billion fucking pads and he's just playing like first base, but it, it's cute. I like it. it. It's very um out of touch, and that kind of reminds me of Hanzo and Genji. Maybe it's a me thing, but oh well. Next up, we have Black Watch, and this is actually a pretty good like orange skin. I like the idea that it's supposed to be very incomplete. Like he broke out of the lab Wolverine style to like get revenge on some fools. I thought that was I think it's a really cool idea. Oh uh, the. The eyes actually give him more humanity. I love that in Genji skins. The sword is appropriately basic. It's supposed. To, it reminds me a lot of um, Metal Gear Rising: Revengeance. You know, Raiden's sword, that that kind of thing. The wires are really cool. Again, this whole thing reminds me of Raiden from Metal, Ge Metal Gear. It's very different, and you know that gives it points because Raiden's a cool ass character in that game. Also, he has blades in his shins. The fuck is that? You have blades in your fucking shins amazing following that we have carbon fiber and it's a basic genji skin but much like with like bridget and even diva this skin is just really well done like it's it's cool the blue and the black and the electric blue on top of that really combines to make a very well thought out look and it's it's appropriately different you know the the muscle tissue, like the combat armor underneath the skin is very well done. I think that's very smart. And this whole thing just looks very futuristic. It looks like what the finished model of Genji should have been rather than the generic, you know, cyborg robot ninja we got before. Also, this one looks a little more evil and that's kind of nice when, you know, you're fighting him. Next up, we have Sentinel. And Sentinel is one of those skins that is memed because it's hilarious. Like, he's a fucking Power Ranger. Come on, that's some funny ass shit. Like, I don't give a shit if this is actual Japanese culture. I don't care what this actually means. It's a Power Ranger. It's awesome. Like this black, green, the lime green, the dark green, the, the gray, the white, everything kind of blends together. I love it so much. Like it works. Although it does get outclassed by two skins. Our runner up for the day is Young Genji, or as everyone else calls him, Carrot. He, he looks like a carrot. This is one of my favorite skins because it's so simple. It's just him as a kid. He's just training, and it works. It gives me Dragon Ball Z flashbacks, but I think that was kind of the point. But my favorite thing is the hair. I love the hair with the scarf and how he, he just looks like a carrot. It's so cute. He's, he's adorable in this. Like. You just want to hug his edgy edginess. Oh my god, he's so... <laughs> this is just a cute skin. But yeah, Young Genji. Really solid. I I like it. Leading us with our obvious winner, Sparrow. Now, why is Sparrow the winner and Young Genji isn't? 
Well, well, I don't know if you know this about me, but I love black and green. It's always my favorite color combination. It looks really cool. It fits a lot of aesthetics, unless you're going for like, you know, white and red, you know, like the Japan one. But it's a very different color scheme for a lot of the characters. You don't see this quite a lot. And for Genji, it works. You know, it kind of just fits him and you don't see that a lot. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm being weird, but I like this. It's very Overwatch and actually really cool. Like this one's really cool. Unlike D.Va and all of them, Genji doesn't have two mechs to fucking work, doesn't have two models to work with. D.Va did, that's why I was so weird about her outfits. But for what he's got, this is a really good skin. And I wish I owned it. So with that said, that's the end of the list. My name is Chris, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, do what you do, I'll see you guys tomorrow.